Nothing quite left the impact on me the way Yu-Gi-Oh did. Sure, I hold nostalgia for Dragon Ball, Final Fantasy, and plenty of other franchises, but there was just something special about the tale of a boy and his spirit friend that stood out from the rest. As many of you know, a year ago we lost Kazuki Takahashi, the author of Yu-Gi-Oh, passed away at the age of 60, assisting another in an effort to save those caught in a rip current. Kazuki always said that in games, anyone could be a hero, but his last moments truly speak to his character. He was a hero, but in many ways before this event, he already was. At a glance, Yu-Gi-Oh! is a silly story about card games being taken way too seriously. But so much more beats within the heart of this story. The heart of the cards is a belief, treated as laughable by some characters in the show, but every time we see someone put their trust in it, they pull off amazing feats. The heart of the cards, as Takahashi wrote it, is belief in yourself, and what makes you in this case. The cards you found interesting, the cards you found fun, maybe some cards that a friend gave you or you traded for, and the way you wield them. I certainly felt my own heart of the cards moment this one time my brother and I went to a local tournament. I was running a Blue Eyes deck, and at the time, I only owned one copy of Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. But my brother owned one, and he lent me his. His was even ultra rare. So I knew the difference between my Red Eyes and his Red Eyes, because mine was just a super. And while I didn't win this tournament, it did give me one of my most memorable matches. I was up against Reborn Tengu gadgets. Each of us had won a duel, but I was backed into a corner. I had just lost my board. My hand just had a low-level dragon in it, and my opponent had a reborn Tengu and Stardust Dragon on his side of the field. The duel was pretty done for me. But what should I draw on my next turn? The Red-Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon that my brother gave me. And I was able to summon it, revive my blue eyes, and turn the duel around for the win. That feeling that my brother was watching out for me, even though he was across the room dueling some other guy at the time, that we had won the duel together, that his red eyes stood with my blue eyes as I attacked for game, were feelings I could never forget. And it's this feeling I think Takahashi meant when he said Yujo is something more powerful than friendship. While Dragon Ball made me value tenacity and hard work, Yu-Gi-Oh! made me value those around me. And this was very much by design. Friendship was an important theme to Takahashi. In Banzai Magazine in 2005, Takahashi said, It's very hard to find real friends, especially as an adult. When you are busy, in your job, and have competition pressure, during your youth, you have a chance to find true friends for a lifetime. I worked this wish into my manga for my readers, because life has enough hardships that you can overcome easier with friends at your side. Takahashi was a man that wanted to see others rise above the challenges in life. And it's with friends that Takahashi believed life could be faced. When the characters duel, when we duel. We learn about ourselves and our opponents. We pit our spirits against each other. We help each other grow and improve in the environment of a card game. And card games were as much about communication as they were about the experience, the bonds, cards we got from friends at events, unbelievable matches that made us feel like heroes together. In learning more about Takahashi, I found myself sympathizing with him. He was a procrastinator. He struggled to meet deadlines, but he still pushed through to make an incredible story. He had to fail over and over again to find the success that he did. He stayed involved in Yu-Gi-Oh! throughout the years though, once he did find success. He even drew the artwork for the Make-A-Wish card, Tyler the Great Warrior. And at the end of it all, he made a franchise that's responsible for many friendships, as he had hoped. He created something for us to bond over. 
there was a heart in his cards, his love of games, his love of people, and that reached out to millions. I heard his message loud and clear. I treat my friendships with weight and it's saved me more times than I can count. My friends have pulled me out of some dark places and they've given me perspectives I never would have found on my own. They've helped me become stronger and I wouldn't be the person I am today without them. Like Takahashi, I want my YouTube channel to help form bonds too. And I'm going to keep going with this for as long as I can. Takahashi once said, there would be no Yu-Gi-Oh without Star Wars. The holographic chessboard was what inspired the Kaiba Corp solid vision technology to even exist. And I wouldn't be here had a mangaka never written a story about games, struggle, and friendship. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts, Kazuki Takahashi, for all you gave us and what you still keep giving us each and every day. Even though your stay wasn't as long as we liked, we're lucky we knew you at all.